Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming. So we are going to start our session. This is K for Kotlin. But before that, we have different skills in our this session. Like we have a QA, we have an iOS developer, and we have an Android developer. So before going to start, I have a one question to you guys. How many people did any programming in their career? Especially to you guys. Any language you use, C sharp, C plus plus, C any any language you Dot net. Okay, so you have experience. You you write us something in a programming. Okay. Now I am going to revise some terms, some keywords I will write. You need to share with me your thoughts. You know yes or no. Okay. So in programming, how many people know what is this if else? You know why we use. Okay. You know how to use for do. Okay. Why? Then class class keyword you ever use okay you know the concept of object oriented programming like you know there is a classes inheritance okay I only want you, you, you no my expectation is from you you should know these terms maybe you write this code like three years ago which is okay so you are guys know this one and now again I am going to write a one small pseudo code and my expectation from you, please tell me what that pseudocode is doing. Okay, so we will revise our programming little bit and then we will start. So it's a pseudocode. I have an array. Or maybe I will change to simple thing. I have a value. I'm taking this one from the user. Maybe it's a C in. Maybe I'm getting any, any language you can use. So I'm taking this value from a user and user gave me five. After that, I'm doing this function. Now you need to tell me in the end what will happen. Happen uh, mm -hmm. so basically, is it doing summation or sum? Yeah. When I will run this one, what will happen? It will do 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15. I agree. Any confusion? 100%. Okay. If I give 6, then it will do to 21. Agree. So now we revise the concept of a for loop and the pseudocode and how you write the programming. And why I write this programming solution? Because I, I need to fix a, one problem. I want to ask to a computer, can you do a sum for me? I will give you one integer value and give me the sum up to that. Now, the next thing is how many people know analysis of algorithm? So how you will check is it performance wise good or bad? You know, you know, anybody know big O notation? Okay, we are going as a layman terms. So you know, in a computer, you never ever check a performance of an algorithm on the basis of time. Why? Because hardware is different. As you guys know already, you are using Android. So every device is different. On some devices, our app is really awesome. But on some devices, it's not because it Device dependent. So how we calculate? We will calculate on the basis of instructions. How many instructions you have? And one, if I am going to calculate this one, what will happen? I have this one instruction. Then I have this one instruction. Then I have this one instruction. And this instruction will run how many times? Up to this five. So if I go in this way. Can we calculate the performance of this algorithm? What will be the performance of this algorithm? I can say, okay, 5. If I'm giving the value of 5, my expectation is it will take 5 instructions. And one instruction equal to 1 second. 
we are assuming one instruction equal to one second. So what will happen when this will run? It will take five seconds. Agree? Now I give one hundred. What will happen? One hundred second. Agree or not agree? Because this loop will work one hundred times. Now the most important thing we think always in the form of genetics. So I can say this five is a value which I am getting from a user. It may be five, it may be hundred. I can say is it n? N means any any value. So if I have n elements, it will take n seconds. Agree? No confusion. So what is our performance? If I have one thousand, it will take one thousand seconds. In mathematics, it's called linear. If I try to draw a graph, so linear graph is always like this. Yeah. So it's always like this linear graph. Now I will show you is mathematics is important for the programming or not. This one is linear graph. So if you are working in a big company, maybe in our company we have total listings more than one hundred thousand. If I have some algorithm which is linear. It will take one hundred thousand seconds to achieve something. Agree? Now, the, in mathematics, we have one formula. Most of you guys know. Sum is equal to n into n plus one divisible by two. Okay, I am giving this value to this five. Five five plus one into two. So it will give me five. And six divisible by two, three, five three is a fifteen. Good, good. Now I am giving six. Six plus one divisible by two, so it will give me seven. Seven six is a forty two divisible by two, twenty one. Same answers. Now this time, how many instructions I am giving? One. Okay, we can say not one because it's in multiplication. There is anything we can say three. So I am giving three instruction. Important thing is, if I give one thousand, how much instructions it will do to give me the answer? Three again. That is called constant. Every time I am giving any data, any number, it's always giving me the answer in constant time. Will be finalized is three or one. So I will say, okay, this. Algorithm will take constant time without taking care of how much data you are giving. So on a graph, it's always like this. I think so. Like we will go straight. Constant line is like this. Yeah, number of instruction may be like this. Now you can see easily what is the importance of the performance of your algorithm. If I go with this one and I have one hundred thousand, it will take. One hour, more than one hour. But if I have an algorithm which is saying I don't care how much data you are giving me, I always take one second. So it's always like this. So you can easily determine what is the importance of the algorithm. Any confusion? So mathematics is really important in my opinion when you are going to do some work. Now we are coming back to our main theme for Kotlin. So, how many people know the definition of a focus? What is focus? Anybody can define? Focus, you mean focus? Yeah, focus. Doing something with focus. Please read this book with full focus. Do your work with full focus. So, what is the meaning of a focus in English? Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay. <coughs> so, mostly how I used to do focus means how much ignore you can do your environment. Yeah, sometimes people will say you are rude, but it's okay. They love you. So I need please ignore all each and everything which you have, so I can say you are focused to this town. Okay, try to ignore. Don't focus. Try to ignore everything, any distraction you have. So you can learn a lot. I'm not saying do focus. Ignore. Other than this, <laughs> don't ignore this one. Okay. So for Kotlin, uh, first I will I want to share how I'm going to tell you this one. 
So how many people did a journey in an aeroplane? Ever. You, 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 everybody. So you will go somewhere, anywhere. So it's just like the journey, but there is only one difference. So when I will start, it's like the aeroplane, it will start from ground. I will start like ground. Then aeroplane goes up. 100 feet, then 10,000 feet, then 30,000 feet. Okay. And in this world, no physical thing has the ability to go directly from 100 to 10,000 feet. It's a continuous journey. You need to pass everything, every step, every foot, every inch. It's not like this. Aeroplane is going like this. After one second, they will go, oh, we are here. No, you need to go like this. Every inch you need to pass. But today, what will happen? I will start from ground. And I will go maybe up to 100 feet like this. Then I can change this rule. I will go directly on 10,000 feet. What will happen now after that you will face some issues related to oxygen you will not die but you will feel the oxygen is not getting properly to you don't take tension so once we are on the 10,000 feet for coat lane i will show you something and you know once you are seeing something from 10,000 feet you will see like the twin tower like this you're not able to properly but you will see something and when i leave you at that time you will be on a 30,000 feet then i will give you the parachute it totally depends upon you guys if you want to jump you can take that parachute it will help you out to come up to the zero ground and you learn everything and if you don't want it totally depends upon you except android team android team to this really important they will do the jump i don't care if they die or not but they need to do a jump from 30,000 feet okay so this is our structure of the today's one so don't think uh, oh i lost where are you going Ask question if you want. I will try my best to give you the answer. Next thing is, uh, 